Hey, we love that umbrella guy. <laughs> we love that umbrella guy. <laughs> ah, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Rolling up, I'm feeling fly. Yeah, I'm so damn fresh. Got that platinum grill, bringing in the chest. Diamonds in my mouth, shining when I speak. That umbrella guy, Boston speaking geek. Ice on my teeth, I'm dripping so hard. Platinum grills, I'm the king of the boulevard. Throwing money in the club, making haters mad. I'm the baddest in the game, no one gets a pass. Oh yeah. Crushing all these lines, yeah, I feel fly. Rolling on the dubs, that umbrella guy. Iced out flow on the boulevard. You ain't a comic gangster, don't be playing hard. Ice on my teeth, I'm flying so high. Dropping the bass, that umbrella guy. One girl to rule them all, one girl to bind them. Baby, I'm so iced out, gonna blind them. Rolling in town, I'm an army of one. Doing verbal walk by, blazing like the sun Riding in my whip, brushing false accusers Dropping off the bass on the real abusers yeah. Living life fast, no time for the smoke Justice on my mind, stacking up on my throat Life in the fast lane, no time to blink Ice on my teeth, watch it when I speak Chilling on my rhymes, never missing the beat Ice on my teeth, yeah, I'm living that sweet That umbrella guy bringing the platinum heat Crushing every hater, no time for defeat, oh yeah All right, man, I, I was like, wait a minute, uh, freaking YouTube, man I, I think today that when you combine it being a huge election day, again, not getting into politics, just saying there's been some wonky business on YouTube today. <laughs> I had to switch over my channel for sound. <laughs> you notice I had the gap there. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, but I was ready for it because it's been so wonky. And this topic, they, it is the strangest thing. They've been demonetizing streams over this topic. I don't know if it's just what I talk about or what, but it's, oh, it's wild. It, it's been crazy too. You know, uh, if you haven't watched, Jeremy just dropped a video about, what, an hour, two hours ago? And it, it's, um, it's a lengthy one, but it's a really good one. <laughs> and the reason why is because all of the stuff that's attached to this case, they've been hiding from the public. Not Jeremy, I'm talking about the uh, the judge. They've been hiding from the public. They don't want you looking into this case. And the reason why, well, I've been going through um, some of the documents, like the 300-page filing. 300 freaking pages. And it is absolutely crazy. <laughs> I can see why they would not watch it. I, I wanted to go over some of that. And I wanted to go over. So I started watching a video with uh, Megan Fox today. It was a video taken when people showed up on their property. And I actually thought that would be good. In fact, I thought about reading some of this crazy. I, I thought, well. I could put that up on the screen and talk about it while reading, but then I thought, no, nah, because I won't be able to pay attention, and that won't be fun. So I thought I would read you just some of this stuff. I mean, we went over a few of the claims, but you know, one of the reasons, there's actually two reasons I think that they would want to put this behind a, uh, behind a, a judge order. I was I almost said a paywall. I was like, I don't really, that's not really what I want to say. They want to, they want to hide it behind that and hide it from the public. Number one, last night, if you missed last night's live stream, by the way, with Megan Fox, you've got to tune into it. Because essentially, Megan Fox found this, this case of a peeping Tom. You had a guy take a uh, cell phone camera, record a woman in a tanning bed or in tanning booth, recording over the top, get caught. And all of these judges and all of these prosecutors, including a certain judge that is over this case, came out and defended the guy. 
said it would be a huge loss if he wasn't back, if he wasn't actually uh, prosecuting. It was just this, this insanity. But it shows you, again, that cronyism, that, that circle jerk that they put together, along with what they've actually backed. Yeah, we're going to look at some of that, like I said. And, I mean, 300 freaking pages of insanity. But I thought what's fascinating about it is you get a real look at the person that's going after Jeremy. I, I've read a couple of pages, so I don't, I'm not going to repeat or rehash any of those. But let me let my cigar we'll go. Yeah. Tell I, me. I, well, go talk to Sissy then. Hey, you're you're supposed to stay upstairs today. Go. <laughs> uh, just one second. I gotta give me one second here. She had a baby shark toy. <laughs> she turned it on. I was like, no. <laughs> the YouTube, it'll go after it. You're sorry about that. Her sister's supposed to be keeping her company. And she's like, she's not keeping me company. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. They are crazy. <laughs> it's so nice. So let me pull this up here. Oh, they're funny when they get going. I'm going to pull up. Now, I had already covered one letter. That's the letter that she wrote, the first one where she was actually ad adding a supplemental, where she was talking about, um, she used a sand, you know, the rest of that, to refer to uh, George. She, she She's like, I never called her that, and then puts these words into a legal document. <laughs> she also... Um, she uses the word it, it's just fascinating like if i would include if if i were including something in a legal document i wouldn't include those words i would include screenshots of what i was talking about again what's astounding to me is the, the just the utter disarray that some of this is and yet it's actually being paid attention to. I mean, just listen to some of this. I'm going to read you a few. I, I, I think this stuff is, is worth going over, you know. Dear Judge, this is the second thing. And if, again, if you missed the first one, essentially the first supplemental that she added was she, she was saying that they're out there. They're bullies. They're monsters. Oh, my God. I can't believe how terrible they are. By the way. By the way, here's these terrible words. I'm going to I'm going to repeat them, but I didn't say them. I didn't say them. I was like, "What?" <laughs> what? Just I mean, again, the craziness. This is a second part. I had to add a second thing. Jeremy started a case in Ohio, which I which I've enclosed against us on the 24th of September, knowing we have already filed against him. Look at how this stuff is warped. Again, how she's gone over that. And, you know, um, George talked about how Jeremy, you know, he's, he, he pretty much says, this is what we're going to do. And they not only they went in and reacted, but now they, they're like, oh, well, we're actually the, the aggrieved party. It's amazing. This spin is crazy. They filed against us for on the 13th of September, the court, Hearing he perjured himself over and over again, I wanted to make it very clear. They will not stop until my child has been removed. For his delusional crimes we've committed in his mind, I've left the property in Otter Creek. I hope you look at all my evidence. If you could just watch the videos on what the hell, H-E-L-L, -L, <laughs> from last night. Again, you know, if you typo something, that's fine. But you're turning this into a court. So <laughs> you'd think you'd want to get some of that right. Yeah, you know, hey, go watch this channel. Call what the H-E-L-L. -L. Wait, no, no way. <laughs> From last night about the police, uh, bad neighbors. You'll see for yourself what we've been talking about. Otherwise, all I can give you is, uh, all I can do is give you the paperwork. Let you look at it all and decide if you give me the temporary order of protection. We need protected. 
Mr. Hale is very clear. He will not stop. If this law wasn't written to protect me, then what was it written for? You know, essentially, I'm the victim. If I'm not the perfect victim, then who is? <laughs> it's it's crazy. Now, when you see all this, again, I'm not going to read you the whole document. Yeah, I want to go over some stuff. But I was looking at this, and I'd never seen the property before until that body cam footage actually popped up. And I thought that was fascinating. And I thought I'd actually, I didn't get to watch, I got to watch part of it. I actually got to, so Megan Fox was fun today because uh, she, um, she got to do it. She did a couple of things. Number one, she took us on a virtual tour of the town. So I got to actually look at the town and how it's laid out. I've looked at a few things from a, from a higher vantage point, but then we started looking at this. And again, I had to leave. So I wanted to, to check this out. This is actually fascinating body cam footage because it shows the place. I mean, you know, you have it, you have it dated, time stamped, CCTV. Put out about some uh, Levy County Sheriff that was that was talking shit to people. So here's this video. I grabbed it. He did all the work. He he put he put all the work in to get the uh, the, the the video. By the way, you can see violation of rights. Maybe you can see the header if you want to go video out the to get it. it. This was a uh, a a visit. To a to a tur to an illegal turtle sanctuary. There are the oh. turtles are mistreated. I'll shout the channel out too. Um, if I if I unlock it, if I, I minimize it, it'll it'll get it all out of whack. So I shut your channel out. In just a minute, I'll have to look it up and all that. But uh, the the channel. I think this cop. I don't know what the laws are in Florida. I know you couldn't do that here. I guess you could, but if you find out, you're in trouble. Where this cop, it'll, it'll go to the basically. Play, Went on the property. Let me let me just and uh, basically took a bunch of video and stuff before oh, they got there. So there's no real gate there. They have they have like a bad. I mean, look All at right. how this place is set. Hey up. Guys, take care. Now look at how this place is set up here. Again, it gives you an idea, and there are so many messed up things about this. Like the the good thing about seeing some of this earlier is it took away the first response and. I got to see, like, like, I got names for the types of, I don't know what I was imagining as a turtle rescue, but the types of turtles that they actually had on premises, they were actually, uh, they were actually named. They talk about, they talk about, I, I'll pull them up when they come up. They talk about le uh, red foots, leopard tortoises. And when you go in and you look at the type of environment that you set up, for these types of tortoises, I was like, "Are you are you kidding me?" Oh. That noise, by the way, that is as a uh, as uh, Megan and um, God, I can't even remember who all was on there. It's been a long day. It's been a crazy day. <laughs> but uh, as everybody on there pointed out, that's that's the sound of uh, body cam footage. Um, this, the way it's centered to, that's just the way that this picture is set up. So I'm not, I've got Hello? it full screen. Oh. Look at this property though. And again, this isn't like taking a shot. At, you live how you want to live. But when you have like kids, it, what, what bothered me? Okay. This actually bothered me. And I don't know if I was getting this cross earlier today. You have a four-year-old running around barefoot. And they have chickens and they have reptiles. Okay. <laughs> Both of those are dangerous as far as health considerations. And they're talking about their kid. When they, when they discuss their child, they talk about how serious the health conditions are. I mean, let's default to the their discussion point. You know, again, we, we've, we've discussed how that... Uh, how that health condition actually impacts, but let's let's take it from that point of view, okay? If it were life threatening, if you're walking around barefoot, if you're walking around, you know, and, and again, you're in contact with not just waste reptiles. Period. I mean, if you look up, if you look up warnings about the handling of reptiles, keeping of reptiles, I, I've 
I've had turtles, you know, and I've had snakes, you know, different types of uh, reptiles. But if you look up the the warnings on them about cleanliness, yeah, lots lots of lots of stuff that they're not doing. So anyway, let's continue. Exactly, MG Law. Hey, man, you want to come on? Uh, you haven't been on here. You want to come on, MG Law? If you do, I'll drop you a link. You tell me in the chat. On oh, Megan's to-do list. I know she was saying that she's going to make a... She's going to make a uh, Lego set. <laughs> Love it. Oh, it's okay. It's all good, man. Hello. I mean, look at the place, though. You know, you know, it's really bad. I said I was setting my phone down and there was a pack of Ritz crackers that was sitting here beside me. And when I set my phone down, there was all this crunching sound and I, it, it just fit. I thought it was part of the audio and I kept going with it. You hear those chickens? Actually, let me turn on closed caption. It picked up the chickens. It, 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 it subtitled it four for some reason. <laughs> Thought they were playing golf. Hi, kitty kitty. So many people said this is the living quarters. You know, again, I, I realize that one person's living quarters are outside, but this, this is the other living quarters. Again, you, you live how you want. It's just, it's, it's insane to me to go out, to sell your home, to buy a place like this, to bring your kids into it. No, not? Okay. That's why I wanted to, I'm going to clarify stuff when we go through. So this is their storage area. Is that their living quarters over there? So that's their poop shack, correct? So is this little place back here, the living quarters? This is what I want. I want to clarify everything. All right. So that's our living quarters, right? Yeah, okay. Hello? Yes, guys, when we, we were watching it earlier, you know, I kept thinking, that looks more like a giant storage place, you know, and I don't know. The, the way, the when when people said shed, you know, if you, you would have said barn, <laughs> I would have thought the other place. That's, what, that's why I asked. Because I got thinking about a little bit of it as we went forward. Is anybody here? This place looks like a... Those chickens, man. So, I mean, okay, so you imagine kids running wild through all of this. <laughs> uh, that's a funny... Uh, Su <laughs> Susan, this is a funny super chat. She said, thanks for the five. She said, I told Jeremy the title of his book should be I Can't Make This Shit Up. <laughs> Hollywood can't write a better screenplay. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I mean, that's true. This stuff is wild. Actually, you know what? I could hit Super Chats while we're talking. That'd be a smart thing. You're falling hero, by the way. Thank you for the gifted membership. I mean, while we're rolling through. Risa, thank you for the gifted membership as well. Susan, thank you for the five. Tug, seriously, with your mental health background, your head must be exploding. Actually, some days it feels like a day at work. <laughs> I mean, just to, just to be honest. You know, I mean, you see the, the you know, the difference between these people when, when people say, oh, man, these people. When, when people bring up mental illness, this is this is one thing I do want to know. When you have people in a clinical setting, they actually want help. 
people like this, they will use health and they will use mental health as an excuse. But honestly, is is living in filth, is that a mental illness? It can be. It can be a, a byproduct of it. Um, but I think a lot of this, again, it fits into – there were the accusations of – of substance abuse. Again, I'm not diagnosing anyone by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just talking here. But a lot of what I see, and I mean, again, you're going to have certain things that come in, but I mean, a lot of the clues fit if I start talking substances and stuff. Again, allegedly. Well, he pictures, you know, he does his job well, by the way. I, I will say that he takes a lot of pictures, but he doesn't do. There was something in here that really bothered me. He encourages her to sue Jeremy. I mean, he he pretty much takes up that side on it. Ray Mail, by the way, this for two. Tell hey, Megan Russ's son is or were his county commission. Okay. See, I like the clarification on that stuff too. Thank you. See, the layout of this place is wild. <laughs> look, like, okay, this is something. Like, when people were talking about it, look, I don't, it, we go past it so fast, but you see all the garbage and stuff? all of that when you're talking about i mean look at this like here's what it, when you look at it on the body cam footage it's not as egregious you know i was it, it makes it makes it look more structured right but you have to remember here okay what's the problem with this you might ask well it's supposed to be a sanctuary it has all these animals here it has animals that are dying here you know, they've reportedly been dying anyway. Turtles that have reportedly been dying because when you look at some of the conditions, then you have all these these other animals. When you think about what's in the bags, I mean, again, I, I've I've had chickens before. You know, again, I know it's a shocker, right, with the accent. You're like, oh, you must come from the – you must be from New York, Tuck. <laughs> but no, I mean, when I was younger uh, – I had a friend of mine that was like, hey, we should we should raise some chickens. And I was like, eh, whatever, <laughs> you know, we'll make some money, sell some eggs. You know, it was when I was a when I was a kid. And the thing I learned about chickens was they stink. <laughs> they smell awful. You can't imagine if you've never been around it, that ammonia. Oh, my God. It is. Oh, it's so bad. So bad. And this setting out in the heat the way that it is. Oh, all of these smells coming together. You can just see, like again, the body cam footage, it just it doesn't come across as bad as when you you start really looking at it. Like you, you know, look at all the different things. Because you're not just talking about like, you know, bags of anything from dirt to whatever supplies you're talking about garbage it's just sitting out there and ripening in the sun i mean this place has to smell bad oh and the, the, again the danger to a kid because when you look at the kid so i i thought it was interesting when the car pulls up you can actually, uh, the kid gets out and goes into the little play area. So there's not, so this is their, their play area. Like I didn't, I didn't make that out at first. You can see the, the swing set, all of that. You can see how it's set up here. That's what got me wondering. I was like, that's not the, the other place can't be the living quarters because of the way it's set up, you know, but look at how, look at how close that is to all of this other nastiness. Ugh. So, and his things were dead there. 
the brown barn is not where she and the girl live. Yeah, yeah, it's the other thing over there. Yeah, yeah. The gray shed or the curtains on the porch. Is Hello. No running water, no toilet, no electricity. It's crazy. And Debbie, thanks for the one of the campers is the stolen one. Oh, that's the one they were talking about shooting the little people. Okay, I got you. I got you. See, that's why I need people to watch this with me. Mr. Cook, you home? Yeah. It gives you anxiety. It actually looks like I'm expecting somebody to run out wearing someone's skin or something. I live in, you know, and again, I, I want to make this clear. I'm not making fun of somebody. You know, I, I live in, I live in Podunk, man. There's a lot of freaking poverty out here. It's the individual. It, it's this person. You look at everything in this situation. They made their lives this too. They decided to move out. To allegedly scam someone moving across the street. They sold everything and they set up here. They did this. They voluntarily did this. So, and then you look at all the other crazy. And you know, the most messed up part about this is, if they would have handled this differently, looking at, I, I've watched, so I was watching some more of the Hell's videos on uh, giving away money and other things. I I don't doubt that they would have helped them. If it would have been different, if it would have been set up different, if they would have, you know, if they would approach things different. I mean, again, they've been buying up, trying to 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 make this uh this area better. And instead, you know, the butthurt brigade comes out. And Michael, thanks for that. Cut to the end. Litigation goes to Florida Supremes, <laughs> Supreme Court. Tens of thousands of people donate and fund the whole thing. I mean, <laughs> indeed. Actually, I am. Somebody mentioned. Uh, so somebody mentioned a GoFundMe, too. They were talking about that. I. If they were, if, if they were OK with that, I'd be 100 percent OK with shilling the hell out of a. I go fund me for him. I would. I'd be a hundred percent okay with that. Because I mean, it's an insane amount of money, and you know, it, it's it's not just a case that impacts like it's not neighbor dispute or craziness. This case ends up potentially impacting my freedoms. Again, that that YouTuber crap they tried to pull. That could just as easily be me. Freedom Express. <laughs> uh. Man, look at that. Those builds are run down, too. Look at those freaking... Oh, look at those tubs, man. Look at that. If you're curious about how a turtle should live, by the way, tortoise. We're talking about tortoises here. If you're curious about them, I'll pull up its habitat in a minute, okay? Just to show you, you know. Let's see. Because, I mean, there's a lot of sanctuaries out there. And you can see how, like, turtles are taken care of, how they're fed. You know, they're given water. These turtles are given no room to roam. Look at that. Oh, gross. That's nasty. So nasty. Debbie thinks was a there's a GoFundMe set up. What it, it, it's it, is uh is Jeremy a hell okay with that GoFundMe? Let me, I'm gonna write him and just ask him. If it is, I'll, I'll is Jeremy okay with that? And is it set up? This is a question. Again, no insult to anybody. I'm just doing my due diligence on this. 
is it set up by somebody they they have access to anything that comes in is it like like for me if i set up the gofundme for example i'm not saying i i want <laughs> i'm not saying that but if it were me you know my name would be attached to it and so i don't know who set it up or anything and again if you did you're a great person awesome i i don't mean that negatively i'm just asking questions okay it's pretty by george okay i'll i'll write them i just want to do my just just to make sure okay everything and then when i do a video each time i'll i'll push it every time okay i just i want to I, I i trust you all i'm not saying that i just like i said i want to make sure since it's somebody else's name attached but i think it's a good thing okay i hope that makes sense you know Yeah, I'll push it every time. I mean, look, look, here, here's the thing. If you think we can't, it, 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 I want to put a message out there too to somebody like Lynette. If you think we can't raise money, fuck that. There was a, there was a voice actor named Vic Mignogna. Vic Mignogna had some terrible things said about him and uh, he decided that he was going to put together a legal fund. A YouTuber did and raised almost $300,000 for it. Hmm. <laughs> we know how to crowdfund. So, yeah, there are a lot of people. And again, you know, if people average, I mean, heck, if his, if his, uh, even half of his audience were to average, not that everybody were, because er, half his audience is not going to give, but if, if they average a dollar, I mean, that would, that would pay for his legal expenses right there. And then all your money would go to charity anyway afterwards. What's he doing here? Why do you go across the road? What, what, what was he doing there? Does anybody, maybe that's a dumb question. What the hell is he doing there? Why do you go across the road and was like messing around in the bushes? Was he looking for the bathroom? <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm waiting for the chat for a second. He had to throw up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, why is he there? Isn't that the hell's property? I mean, I'm just curious about that. I didn't think about that before, but didn't he just go over to the hell's property? I mean, I'm just curious, like, why he would do that? Because the, the complaint isn't about there, right? I mean, I'm looking, I am looking at this, right? I mean, we have forward facing everything, and he just went across the street. I, I am seeing this correctly, right? When you gotta go, you gotta go. He moved brush off the road. Is that? I couldn't tell what he's doing. Yeah, that's Jeremy's. I mean, still. So they they're they're probably pretty aware who the complainant is, right? I mean, with all the stuff that's gone on, it seems like when this person talks about it, they seem pretty aware of everything. So I, I don't know. I just let me let me just look at that one more time. Okay, I, was, I, I apologize, but I just I'm gonna back it to right here. Okay, I just want to see what he's doing here because I'm like, did I miss something? He walks over. I mean, there's nothing in the road. They say he was moving brush out of the road, but he didn't. I mean, is he picking that up and just move? He's just going to push it further out. But why? Why would you do that? It wasn't in the road. I don't know. Anyway, that's just odd to me. And then he takes a look around. He's like, "Ooh, let me look around." I mean, again, it just seems odd to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm very suspicious of a place that had what a, a dozen plus judges sign off on a peeping Tom. Man, I'm out, maybe just me. Maybe I'm a little, over. maybe I'm a little over. <laughs> it's so resilient. Denise thinks I'm fine there. Crook's trailer. <laughs> yeah, it is a hell dud too. It's no better than a shed. Not hooked up to electricity, hooked up to septic. Oh, so nasty. Dwayne, thanks for this. She admitted to putting the child in a dog crate. I saw that. Okay, so there's a thing about dog crates. I'm going to pull that up in a minute, too. Terrence, hey, what's up, man? 
Hey there, Tug and Chet. Tug, how can whoever this guy be going through there taking pictures? He is a he is um checking them out because they're 501c3. They're supposed to be a turtle rescue. He has the authority to be there. He has the authority to walk around, do whatever the hell he wants to. Oh yeah. Wildlife, baby. Fish and I believe. Susan, thanks for the vibe. Fan set it up. Debbie Vaughn. Is the one that's on the page. She's a monitor page. Okay. Like I said, I'm just, again, I hope everybody understands. I just want to make absolutely sure. Again, I, I, I believe you all and everything. I just, you know, it, it'll be a large amount of money. And I want to make sure that they're good with everything and they're good with that. Because if they're good with one set up and that one's good to go, then we fly the banner high. Step, thanks for the 20. Lynette had a, prote a prior protective order on her because of her grandchildren. There's a mental health evaluation done. I guess it's really bad. Mm. Jerry might share it with you. You let us know how bad it really is. Ooh, I could actually look at that. You know what? <laughs> if that's part of the, I, I, you know, I wouldn't share, share it, but looking at it, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would be somebody that would know about that mental health evaluation. I've done plenty. I've done Tens of thousands of them. <laughs> so, Attorney Silverman, what's up? Thanks for the two there. It's to park his truck. Ah, so he's going to pull his truck over. Okay, thank you, thank you. I just like I said, I, I, I don't want to jump the gun. I just it, they all this stuff. It makes makes me paranoid. I think it it would it's made them. I, maybe you're not paranoid. Again, it's not paranoia. You know when they are coming after you, right? Patriots for life. Thanks, but Bob. Anyone else? Feel like Jeremy should find a new attorney. Current one seems scared or unwilling to speak up and defend Jeremy. I, I didn't get that feel. I, I think he's, you've got to play a certain legal game. You have to go a certain way. And I think they've been going, they've been pushing. There's a, there's a legal game that you have to play though. What's up, Ken? Thanks for the dude. The official ghost uh, fund me started by Debbie Vaughn. Okay. Like I said, I'll check that out for sure. I'll make sure, like I said, I'll, I'll make sure Mel them and ask them. And Mark, thanks for five. A Jayco camper was stolen from Indiana. So <laughs> that's the one they were mentioning about. Don't bring that up here. That's fascinating. Look at that place, man. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen bad places too. Like I said, I, I live out in nowhere. There's a lot of rundown place and, and you know you wouldn't think anything about it but this person started a war with their neighbor they introduced their kid as a factor into this they utilized them as part of it you know he's going to run my kid over he's going to do that they they put that they they wanted publicity and notoriety until they got it this happens so often you know Somebody begs for the attention until they get it. That freaking cabinet, man. It just it, st it sticks out so much there. There's a boat. Go fishing for turtles. Tracy thinks we do. Nate Crown funded his bot boy battle. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Indeed. Actually, you can do a lot more like... Um, Again, Jeremy has that giant channel, and you know he's already spent. You know he's spent six figures on this. He said eighty thousand, but that was before any of the new moves. And you know, with everything else going for, I bet you, I bet you, look at three hundred thousand dollars for all of it, at least, at least. Chris disabled writer, thanks for five. You're only paranoid. <laughs> yeah, yep, exactly. There's no one's out to get you. That is very true. Catch twenty two. That's true. Very true. He still thinks it too. Or he has property. It's across from Lynette's. Yeah, like, like they said, pulling the truck. Over, I mean, that makes sense. Not being out on the road. It's just. I'm hypercritical of it. <coughs> but yeah, he can walk around. Somebody was asking, like, could he walk around? Yes, very much so. He has the legal authority to do this. To knock, to ask questions. That condition with the, the tortoises, you could see why tortoises would die. I've had plenty of turtles in my life. 
definitely I've had a, got rid of your spider. I've had a couple of tortoises. Mostly um mostly dealing with turtles themselves, like rescue, like a real rescue. They say a turtle rescue. Uh, when I say a rescue, like I'll find a, like a yellow belly or something that's been stepped on by a cow. I, I took one home that way. It cracked its shell and, you know, it was a little bitty one. So you let it heal up. And then uh, there's a couple of places they can introduce them to later on, you know, but not running a rescue. This is oh. <laughs> it's crazy. It is. It is. Dwayne thinks that they are her stepkids have protective orders against her. Yeah, I mean, looking at that, when when everybody that you meet, anybody you've ever had connection to. It's hot today, but at least it's the dry hot. They line up, it's bad. I turn on the closed captions, by the way. Hey, I don't play. I'm investigating Ken Holmes. Fish one. Okay. Baby, okay. She All right. has a life-threatening metabolic disorder. Okay. All right. Okay, no so problem. Steve right there. She says, now again, if we're this has been discussed, I'm not going to go into it and argue it. I'm just I'm just noting it from their point of view. Okay. She has a life-threatening metabolic condition. That's their statement to the world. Okay. If you have a life-threatening metabolic issue she's going to take that fucking kid out of this car and she's going to put them on the ground barefoot with all this funk and all this nastiness out here she also warns the like oh there's glass around oh don't run around okay that's all you need <laughs> a cut i mean you don't really even need the cut but you get a cut and you introduce all of that funk into that kid's system you have the you have kids strong as a freaking ox and and that stuff would put them down. I mean, again. Her, she can die. Okay. So we try not to catch. If he, if he did that, he ain't the hand sanitized. This is Monday, all Wednesday, the food. Friday. Underneath all this stuff, you'll find more lettuce and vegetables. Do you have uh, like a refrigerator to put it? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We normally feed it out every day. Yeah, because I get it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Gonna, I want to freeze on this place in here. Hey, come and get it. I'll be here to get it. Come on. Get it. Come on. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Okay. I mean, look at this. It's a. It's piled in, and they have a, a refrigerator on the side. I mean, that's a, to think. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just hard for me to buy that you're you're going to access this every single time. Be like, yeah, I keep all my belongings in here. By the way, I keep the uh, keep the turtle food in here. <laughs> it's like, okay, all right, I got you. I, this thing's really uh, fine. As a wildlife rehabber, by the way, I would have called fishing game too. The turtles and tortoises need rescue, indeed. <laughs> Mistrust things for the vine. That's not a turtle sanctuary. That's a turtle morgue. That is, it's as 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 um, Megan kept saying, it is turtle purgatory here. It really is. Okay. But we we Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, instead Wednesday. of the Thunderdome, it's like welcome to the Turtle Dome. It's like no poor turtles. Yeah, and just to let you know, I'm I'm uh, vaccinated, uh, but. Who knows? I, you know, anybody right. can get anything. No, so yeah, if you want to keep I, isolated, yeah. And the, um, she had RSV from him. Hey, what the hell? RSV. Hey, hey. So let me ask them since they're in the chat. You know, if they can answer. So is everything good with the um, with the GoFundMe? Is is it all good? I'll I'll uh, get somebody to send it over to me, and I'll I'll pull it up. I mean, heck, that's that's the way you talk about. It. I just like I said, I want to do my due diligence there. I keep going with this while we're. <laughs> is this is what meth does. Uh, it, yes. And then she started having seizures, so she's never had that before. So now. So so let me. Ask, what agencies have come here? I, I've I've listened to a little of the the YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, so three times he called. Okay, so right out. there, like you hear them. This agency comes in, and is saying. Yes, I have listened to it. And they, they tell them, like, you're not supposed to be going over to somebody else's property and telling them, yeah, you should sue. 
And that is, that's exactly what's said here. He says, well, they've got money. Like, that's nuts. That is nuts. <sighs> anyway, I mean, listen to the conversation through it. He then turned me into the consumer. I have it right here. Yeah, it's fishing. Game, right? And are you still, I saw that you have a nonprofit. Have you gone through and, and did all that to get a true nonprofit yes. status? Yeah, Hi, honey. Yep. Hi. Hi. What's it called? How are you? That's Harley Gray. Oh, it's over there. My people are strong. There's more power. Okay, yeah, yeah. No problem. Right, but we got the bag stuff, which is much cheaper. Yeah. And better. Yeah. She'll be right there, honey. She'll be right there. I'm going to get you love. Just a minute. Don't oh, you dropped that. something. She's very shy. Um, Here, you dropped this. He turned me in. Like That's Russell. She wants to give it Okay. All right. Hey, Matt, I'll get to call you back. It, it... All right. Thank you. So there we go. I got confirmation. Again, I, I understand. Like everybody was telling me, I, I look at it this way. Like, like if you, you could look at it, I want to make sure because you're talking about it. A, a lot of money potentially and a lot of, you know, that's, that's a lot of trust. So, you know, I just, like I said, I want to make sure. So it is. So I'll, I'll pull it up in a minute. It wasn't super important. Just because uh, I think that's important uh, about entombing gophers. You'd go uh, an officer would be sent to that complaint, wouldn't they? If someone complained about entombing gophers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a, that's all I want. Because uh, you know, different complaints. The uh, dispatch closed it out, but I think they got different info from us, and who knows? They might have said entombing just to get us to go. So. But let me no, actually you enjoy your NASDAQ. We're, we're going to continue in a second, but I'm going to pull that <laughs> right, one up, okay? See let me let me pull up the, the GoFundMe Sorry, real buddy. fast. I just, I want to mention it and I'm going to, let me actually, I'm going to play this. I'm going to let it, uh, I'm going to link it and pin it to my chat and then I'm going to talk about it that way. You'll know where it is. Uh, let me do it that way. That's the smart way. Give me one second. Videos on me. That's actually the smart He's way. He's accused us of him sexually molesting her. Which could have made her re end up in being removed. If they would have removed her, her metabolic team said it would probably would have killed her because the first thing DHS was CPS well, did well, to shoot her well, up. Well, hey, I'll t anybody can sue or complain about anybody. Oh, I know. You could you could right now lodge a complaint to me saying I was unprofessional to you and call my. Doesn't mean it's true, right? Right. So, if it it it's e easier said than done. But, but you have ducks, like water off ducks back. Mm -hmm. If it's not true, don't worry about it. Right. Now, you have your daughter to worry about, I understand. But if the Child Protective Custody came here three times. Yep, and giving hit, legal. Yeah, so this is legal advice. <laughs> he's giving he's giving advice on how CPS. This is fish and wildlife here. He's talking about other agencies that have. Fuck all to do with fish and wildlife. And on top of that, he's talking about other people as far as litigation is concerned, and he gives legal advice. Like, this is the dumbest thing you could do, but it also shows you a terrible bias in this. Like, this is horrible. So, here, I'm going to pull this GoFundMe up real fast. Okay. I want to show this. I linked it to the top of the chat. It is right now. It is at four thousand. Let me let me refresh it. I pulled it up just a second ago. Okay, so it's four thousand one hundred fifty-one bucks. Let the chat catch up with me here. And it's talking about helping out with legal fees. Now again, the amount of cost here is staggering. Okay, it is staggering. Like you think about in your regular life, if you had all of this stuff happening to you and other stuff has happened in that community, it's not just it's not just dealing with one one person having issues or or one landowner versus another. This is a whole community that has had so many issues. Finally, somebody's out there puts eyeballs on it 
They take a stand. They're also dealing with issues that are thrown at them. Their stand, is it ends up costing them. It's ugly stuff. It is ugly stuff. So you're talking right now. When we did the when we did the interview, over eighty thousand dollars in cost. That is an insane amount of money. People can help out with it again, averaging out a buck for half that audience. We cover the legal expenses, and, and this is a long road, or at least it would hopefully come close. I mean, court cases. You would not believe the cost when it comes to court cases. So I'm going to read this really quickly. I'm going to leave it pinned to the top of the chat. Click on it. I'll check it periodically and give updates. Okay. Hello, my name is Debbie Vaughn. Huge fan of Jeremy Hales and his girlfriend, George, from What the Hells on YouTube. They're snowbirds who reside in uh, both Ohio, Florida, USA, Thanks for taking the time to read this request. All funds go to them. So their legal issue, again, if you don't know about this, and this is the, the crux of it. This is the problem that doesn't just impact them. It potentially impacts a lot of people. 2023, Jeremy filed and received a protective order in Ohio for all 50 states against Lynette and John Cook for stalking. Lynette filed a copycat protection order in Florida against Jeremy for cyber stalking. The Florida rogue judge, Mr. DeThomas, which we have talked about a few times, especially in his uh, rubber stamping, uh, Peeping Tom, is illegally ignoring the hells. Ohio protection order has taken away Jeremy's first, second, fifth, and sixth amendment rights based on lie. And they're when you look at them, again, when you see them just laid out and read them, it, it's taxing to read through them. But it's it's amazing anyone would ever give any, any type of credibility to that at all. These include the right to, fair, uh, to free speech, to bear arms, access their property by a public road, a speedy trial, Jeremy's rights to due process. Without a Second Amendment rights, he can't protect himself or George. He can't even hire security to protect himself. I mean, think about that. He can't be around somebody with a gun. And he's had people threaten to off him. <laughs> I'm going to you know, keep it all a friend of here, but you know what I mean. He's threatened to uh, in them. I remember uh, the YouTube statement in Minecraft. Yeah, there we go. In Minecraft. But no, I mean, ser seriously, that, it's, that's, that's a horrible situation because through this, you have on tape. You have somebody threatening to end someone. And they take away their ability to, to defend themselves. Jeremy's tried three times to get this biased judge to recuse himself, but he refuses. So Jeremy had to appeal to a higher court, which could take up to over a year. All of this time, his constitutional rights are being withheld from him, and their legal bills continue to increase. It's already cost him over 80 grand. Additional information, too. I think this is actually very good to put here. George and Jeremy and their fans are generous, charitable givers. They've donated $150,000 to Christian Camp. They named their camps here, or the camp here. They uh, raised over $6,000, collect, ship, and donate over 7,000 book bags, thousands of dollars in school supplies to Egyptian orphans. They've been away over. 120 microwaves, air conditioners. They get to tens, 10,000 toys and gift cards to residents of Levy County, the place they're in, for Christmas celebration. 2023, they have videos of this stuff. And so, I mean, they, they do research. I actually like the idea. If they find something that is important to a family, they give it back. Like, that's amazing stuff. So, again, you know, in these moments, it, people aren't stories. This stuff is intriguing. It is, is an absolute train wreck to watch, but it has people in the middle of it. So again, share it. Help out if you can. And thank you. I'm going to keep an eye on it too. It is pinned to the top. 
and it'll be good. It'll be good to include in any video or anything. If you make a video on this subject, remind people if they do coverage to, to mention that because I think it's very important. All right. Don't worry about what anybody else says. You got to deal with the harassment a little, but yep. um, it's a lot. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's a lot, right? so what don't, I mean, don't, don't listen to it. If yeah. it's not true, don't listen to it. However, at the same token, you do have some, I, I don't know if, who complained? I don't know. We do. Yeah. Late, there was a lady here this morning. What was her name? Her name was Alicia Hill. And okay. she said that, she said, I'm outside your property and I saw a video, a Hale's video, yeah. about your property and I, I've got a $1,500 grant for you and I've got food for you and this I and that. Well, say, yes, she said, I want to see your tortoises right now. Where are they? And I'm like, I don't even know who you are. Yeah. Why would I let you on? And yeah, I, I don't blame her. Yeah. She, they yeah, don't he realize. Uses, he uses his wallet. Okay, can yeah. I? No, I, I am. No, I understand what's going on. And so. I was, I was, I have been licensed in the state of Florida. Class three field of day, wow, class three all it was years there. ago. That's why you said Lacey and I'm yeah. like. Well, it's only because I, I, I looked at your, um, uh, so up your drive. phone number. No, your phone number, and uh, it, it said Lacey Wilson. I think. Yeah, that's my old number. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, my yeah. Old, that's my middle name. I used to go by my middle name. And you got a bunch of So is, is it correct? Is that her stripper name? Is that true? <laughs> is, that, is that true? I, uh, is there somebody saying that? I'm waiting for the chat. Give me one second. Lacey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a professional. Okay, professional day. <laughs> professional day. <sighs> okay, all right. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> that's funny. Thanks. <laughs> and that's a long story. Oh, um. Sure anyway, I used to have class three field a day, class three all. I had mountain lions, fox, wolves. We had everything. We were in Northport. See, I found it interesting. So that that actually fits into a statement. She she denied making specific statements you know it wasn't just the uh the statements about um jeremy being a a, a uk cigarette <laughs> and it wasn't just the statement about georgia being um you know sand and a certain other word but also there were statements about bringing big cats in and she was like, no, 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 big cats. No, never did none of that. And it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> you just said you have before. <laughs> Some of these things, uh, they don't they don't fit in. It's like you, you can't <laughs> you can't remember what you said from one time to another. Uh, North Fort Myers and Port Charlotte. That was years ago. I worked at I lived and worked at Octagon for huh, years. I know Lori. I know all of them people. I know how to take care of animals. My biggest issue, sir, and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to throw him under the bus and I don't freaking care. It's him. Yeah. Is, he, he, is he an ex, too? My ex was an ex. Okay. Ask that ex. I'm just going to take it. How the um, tools need to be. I've told him what I want, how to do it, and he refuses. And I can't, I don't know. Well, anyway. well maybe if he goes around with me, um, maybe you. it will help. So, I, so what I about this. what I was getting with like everything else could be wrong. If I get to send, and this is normally what happens, especially in the neighborhood or. I'll get to you, honey. Let me, I'm gonna grab her. Yeah, yeah, and I'll yeah, keep okay. My okay. She wants to be free. I'm gonna let this play. This is already on YouTube. It's already it's 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 out there. Again, I want to make this clear though. My kid has nothing to do with this, but they do. Their safety, like, like again, when you listen to it, they, like if if I cut, here's my problem here. If I cut away, you don't hear what's being said. Like you, you don't hear the the statement about don't run around because there's glass and other things. And again, this environment is, is fucking, they're, they're admitting the environment's not safe, but there's so much more to the environment that is unsafe. I mean, it disturbed me to look at it as it's as a whole there. Oh, 
So, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, how do they have that uh, vehicle, by the way? How's the vehicle working? <laughs> you know, I just, I'm like, man, you know, that's not a, that's not a cheap vehicle. So, um, so what happens is a lot of times you get neighborhood complaints or exes. Hold my hands. You're going to step in dirt, in glass. You're not running off. You see that, though. Hold my hand. So you set the kid down barefoot. Now, I understand kids kick their shoes off. And in the South, again, there are a lot of bare... I, I mean, I run around barefoot sometimes myself. In my own yard. My yard, though, uh, if I'm going to have my kids out, if they're running around, I mean... <laughs> My yard isn't covered in in stuff that could threaten my kids' lives. I mean, that's the first thing. My littlest one, too. So my littlest one actually had a uh, a heart condition where she had to go and have surgery. And I worry about her health all the time. And if there's anything that could threaten her health, you know, she's doing fine, by the way, just to, just to note that. But when she was little, we had to have some stuff done. And if there were even even the question of the so like I can't, I can't imagine the glass on the floor or let my kid take off toward a road. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine having my kid live in filth like I'm talking chicken shit filth. I, w I wouldn't want this. It's dangerous. You want to get shoes on? Yeah, I can wait till you get shoes or something on it. Let's put your shoes back on. Come on. See, the kid took it instead of like just being like, "Yo, I'm gonna put my kid's shoes on." It's like, "Hey, I'm gonna set you down. Don't move around much." I mean, he's looking at the conditions. He's like, "Oh." All right. And you know what he's telling them too. And, and you lose track of this when he's talking. He's telling them that the conditions here, there are violations. He's saying there are violations. He just, he lost that in the dance, you know. <laughs> Heather, by the way, thanks for the two. My nut is probably going to complain about him too. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Rhea Ryan, thanks for the two. Prepare to keep her clothes on. <laughs> Lacey. <laughs> Be like somebody throws her a winter coat. Now on the stage is Lacey. And there's one dollar bills. <laughs> they're tied to like uh, they're tied to winter coats and stuff. It looks like it looks like a freaking goodwill raining in there. You're like, what the heck is going on? Never seen anything like it. Everyone's tipping coats and pants. <laughs> Dwayne, thanks for the two. She does nothing but lie. If there's no need, yeah, and they lose track of it. Like, people like this lose track of it. Claire. Things with the five. The child spends half her life in a shed, the other half in the car. <laughs> it's true. I'm kitchen everybody here. Jenny, thanks for the five there. Lynette makes Carol Baskin look like Mother Teresa. Don't you get that feeling of, of, uh, Megan was saying this. I thought the same thing when she started talking about it. Tiger King. That, don't you? Turtle Queen. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, God, what a show. Turtle Queen. And Dwayne, thanks for the two. She's too lazy to potty train the poor child. I mean, it's just a mess. She's actually, what's weird is she goes in hunting. So you notice what just happened there. And I didn't catch this the first time. She went inside hunting for shoes. That means that they didn't take shoes with the kids. So we're, when they went out, they didn't, I mean, I I try to have, if I'm taking my kids, even if I'm gonna, like, are going to the, like, say I need to go up here and take some trash off or something, just whatever, right? If the kids are riding with me, I assume there might be an emergency. So I try to have something on hand. I'm not saying every time you can't omit, but I just get the feeling this isn't just some omission, you know what I mean? Turtle queen. 
and the Carol Baskin. <laughs> Catherine thinks it too. All hail the Turtle Queen. I know, man. We are seeing uh, the mythos of the Turtle Queen being born. <laughs> Dude's like, what in the heck? <laughs> Wouldn't have mentioned shoes, but it's going to be out here in a month of Sundays. Her and Carol Baskin are BFFs. Hi. I wouldn't doubt it. You can't come close now. You know that. Go with Daddy then. Go by Daddy. Here, go out here. I want to read the complaint about My him being Mr. an Kent. abuser, by the way. Like she talks about him being an abusive monster, essentially. You know, and um, it's kind of fascinating when you read through that. Don't go to the road. No, Mama. No. Come on. We gotta go look at the tortoises. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Tortoises. Come on. She has written so much stuff. I do want to read one of the complaints. They're crazy. She can't break down protein. Yeah. Sorry, when I roll through this. So until she's like six or seven, we got to keep her away from all kinds of um, diseases or anything. Anything that can give her a fever. God, that makes me mad. You got you to gotta keep her away from diseases. You got to safeguard the kid. By the way, don't step in the chicken shit or glass. <laughs> oh, my God. She took him over by the, I mean... <laughs> It wasn't near the house. It was close to it, too. Holy God. Oh. She I likes running, though. Huh. She does. So they're like, if she if something happens, it could kill her. It could kill the child. They're like, you need to stay away. But all of these these contaminants, all of these other issues, they're okay for it. We've all been in the car hours. all day. <laughs> Okay. So normally what happens, I get a complaint, X, uh, uh, exes are big on complaining about their exes. Mm -hmm. Not that that's what happened here, yeah, but, you know, but, you know bad, bad breakups yep. and uh, bad neighbors, uh, you know, button heads with neighbors. So we'll get complaints. They'll throw, they'll throw right. everything at the wall. But, um, you know, if there's a valid violation, which I did find some today. Um, I got to address it. By, by the way, you, you don't have to uh, step in bird droppings. What is it? Histoplasmosis, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. That um, comes from what? Bird and bat droppings. You have issues with that. Soil contamination. It's like farmers. I mean, that's a that's an issue that you see uh, what, in like Mississippi, other areas. And I mean, it, again... You're not just talking about needing to step on or introduced. It's from breathing in the spores. And up and stuff. So, um, no but it's some, it's some things that I think you can easily fix. Yeah, I mean, now, there's I a bunch of other so is, And in the video, past videos, you had Good a horn, yeah. and it looked like some, uh, maybe some red foots. Did you yep. have a red foot? Yep. So you see all the turtle, the, the, the different turtle names. Now, like I said, I'm going to pull up some pictures of turtle sanctuaries. One of the things you'll notice with turtle sanctuaries, first and foremost, room. Tortoises, they wander. They need room. They need room to roam. They also need areas to shade. They sun, but they shade. They need both. And, you know, it's, it's fascinating because her excuse for violations, which you'll see, is that they were away and they were afraid it would rain. Now, if you're afraid it would rain because you have them in a container and you're afraid they're going to drown, well, obviously, you have a problem there and you need to, she says, well, you need to poke more holes in it. Yeah, I mean, if you're afraid they're going to drown, <laughs> that, that's not an excuse that really holds up there. You set up, these are just basic conditions. It's not hard to set that up. They're, <laughs> turtles are not hard to take care of. If you're not keeping something in a tank where you have to regulate, again, you know, if you, you have outdoor, if you have outdoor conditions where there's proper amount of sun, 
you add in shading, you add in some way that they can actually, uh, they can cool themselves down. You know, you need to, you add water, but you also, you add water for drinking, obviously. There's also the issue, when you look at that water, my God. It reminds me of, it's dirtier than, my uh, my grandfather has a lot of acreage. He uh, He's a nursery farmer, okay? Grows trees. In fact, where I live, that is, if you live in California or New York, you, you wouldn't recognize the name of the place I'm in, but you've probably seen our trees. <laughs> we export from here, we export about 85% of the U.S. is trees. So if you live in a place, yeah, it's the soil around here. But one of the, the point in that is we have cattle out here too. The cattle ponds, you can imagine how nasty cattle ponds can get. And the, ca the, the conditions in some of their stuff remind me of cattle ponds, sands, you know, a little bit of that, the cattle debris. But still, and they're not adding, you know, they're they're like, well... No nude water. <laughs> okay. Now she says these are my pets. Now you know why she said that. See, she said that because she knows the conditions here. They do not meet requirements. I, I'm going to say, if you're like, yo, that, that's my pet. That's not actually uh, one of the turtles. In fact, when she talks about the turtles that are available, again, there are a lot of turtles missing. <laughs> and that's, yeah, you can, you can see why. But on top of that, of course you would claim, oh, well, not that many turtles because when somebody comes out to inspect them. It's dry in there. Yeah. Uh, this is going in there, not the, the haze coming out. Yeah, I'm a little more worried about the heat with... Um, it doesn't... It, well, it's pretty warm in there now. Yeah. Because of that, tar that brown tarp. I mean, you're cooking them. It's a pressure cooker. <laughs> but we, I kept it shut because I didn't want it to rain while I was gone. Yeah. And have them See, she's like, oh, well, they could drown. In it. I mean, look at the conditions here. Yeah, they like hay. They like to get in hay. They like to mess around in hay. But, like, look at these conditions. You gonna cook these things in there. And her excuse is, well, I don't really want. Why? Well, she says, I'm afraid it's going to rain. Again, the, the the issues here, she's telling you all the problems. She's telling him all the problems. They should be more concerned about. It. Typically, the concern, I mean, I've seen people go in. And, so you just have them too? No, there's a Herman. He's in his That's funny. Spacey Lacey but for fam. Know. No joke. That's how you call her. Hey, you want me to slide this all this way? It, it, wait, 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 wait. Did you catch that? Did you catch what she just said? Look at this. Yeah, Look gonna at gonna I'm going to back that up just a minute. I'm sorry. Just listen to that. So you just have them too? She's talking about opening the thing up. We had them in another pen, but an animal ripped them out, ripped the hole in the pen and ripped them out. It, it killed one of the Russians. Okay, you want me to slide this all this way? So she's saying that animal ripped into the pen and killed one of the, the Russian. What the, what the hell is roaming around out here? I mean, I've seen gators like go to chomp down and be like, nah, I don't want any of that. I mean, what the hell's running around? Bigfoot? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it's not like a, it's not like there's a, a coyote or something that's, 
it's going to be running around like ripping up turtles. That's not typical, you know? Oh, let me hit these real quick, too. Real baby. Thanks for the 18 months. Isn't it proper they are on now where the locals dump their trash for years? Yes, yes. So you'd also have other ground contaminants. That's a good, that's a, that's, that's a good point. Like the other issues here. Carol, things are five. Jeremy needs a um, lawyer to go is from Willis the Pit. I'm, I'm where the, that Randy, I'm sorry, I don't understand how that's saying. I apologize. I just, I don't. Jenny thinks of the fun. The child has a, a one a metabolic disorder. These are not to break down ingested protein. It's controlled by diet. It's not life threatening. Yeah, yeah. And that's been discussed a bunch of times. The thing is, if we take her at her again, if you, you know, as a parent, if my kid has a problem, it's uh, it's huge to me, you know. So if I even if I were to give that, and again, I'm not really willing to concede that, but if I were, just just to say for the sake of argument, that's my mentality. Oh my god, my kid could die from. Well, that place doesn't look very uh, yeah, flattering, does it? For that, that that concern doesn't. It's not really translated into the environment. It, it ate one of the restaurants. Yeah, we're going to empty this out anyway. Oh my God. And they're talking about, well, I would empty this out anyway. Again, all of these excuses are telling you that they know that there's violation. Well, there's love in there. Let's see. He's right somewhere. Well, go yeah. find me real quick. All right, so the GoFundMe has gone up a few hundred bucks. That's actually good. It's up to 46, 16 now. That's good. Like I said, spread the... Even if... Even if you don't back a GoFundMe for them, again, the link's at the top of the description, on the top of the chat, or top of the chat, okay? Even if you don't share it everywhere, put it on social media. Don't, don't go, don't share it like every three seconds or they'll ban you for spamming links, but share it, make sure and hashtag buckle up with it. You know, if you pick out one specific hashtag, again, enough people putting the same hashtag with something, you can get it to trend that way. So you put it out there, you know, you share it. I mean, there are a lot of ways that you can, you can actually help back. Yeah. Well, what? Well, it's it's not my business what health health wise happened to me, but uh, I saw a few videos. You look like you were getting around good, like a year ago. Oh yeah, I can't <laughs> anything. I, that, I worked this whole place was packed. Oh really? I actually lost fifty pounds working on it. Yeah, you look bigger too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, see, I, I busted my ass trying to get. That seems like a call out, almost, doesn't it? Does that not seem like a call out? Hey, it's none of my business what happened to you, but I saw a video from about a year ago and you look like you were thumping around. You know? That's just a fascinating little statement. Like I said, it, if it's not a call out, it's an unintentional call out, you know? How big is he? Is he smaller than Ollie? Yeah, just like the little ones. Yeah, we on disability, exactly. Foot. Videos from prior, those red foots are gone. The leopard is gone. I have one leopard back there, but all my other tortoises I gave to a friend. Gave to a friend. To let me get them back. There should be a follow up on that, by the way. There should be. Like, they should have done a follow up on that because if those turtles are not somewhere that you can prove. They have been you know, again transferred. If they're if they're dying, like it's been like it's been alleged. Like again, somebody said something about postings where she said something about that. Again, I haven't I haven't seen that particular posting, but I, I saw somebody say something about that. But the the allegation of them dying, you should be following up. Because if they're, quote unquote, not giving them to friends and, and just the way that she's bringing it up. Oh, yeah, you saw the prior videos. Well, I gave all of them. And it's not that you put them in homes. It's that you gave them to a singular friend. So you're talking about a bunch of turtles being given to a friend who's supposed to let you have them back. 
Like that, that, that seems really odd to me. Careful, you're going to get sand in your eye. They were not giving back. So they were gone. They're, yeah, they were stolen. Oh, give them away. Be in here. Oh, careful, he's little. Is he? Oh, he's tiny like that. Yeah, he's like her. You're gonna step on him. I won't step on him. I'll be nice. He's gotta be in here. No way. I just seen him yesterday. I'd love to see these turtles and see their hell. You can look at them. You can look at them. Oh, he's peeking out at us, Sam. What are you? What's all the fuss about? Yeah, normally this has more water in it. And they can get in and out of there really well. Okay, so you notice that too. Normally we have more water. So when this person pulls up, they're covered. Not only are they covered, they're covered with a tarp too. The conditions there are questionable. Water wise, not as much water. Normally we have that, and there are a lot of animals missing. This is the weird thing about red flags, right? So that with, with these tortoises here, that's that's fine for this because remember, it's got to be he's the biggest one, so it's got to be two his length and two his width. So obviously, that's fine. And the size is the only thing that worries about me on this is because well, if you had. It can't freeze, but I guess I need to put holes in the bottom. More holes. No, shit. Well, the hay's not bad either because they like going into it. Yeah, but... they love it. Find them? Yeah, he's in there. I, and I didn't step on them. No. Yes. Yeah. 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 We've had, we had Napoleon for years. He just ain't growing. He just so, ain't growing. so what would be ideal with this is that it's good to, for them to have sunshine too, but if they if do, like but partial, you had a partial shade over it. Yeah. So part of it shade. So if they want to get in the shade, they could, and if they want to be in the sunlight, they could. Yeah. You could. You they. Have Why wouldn't you know that? I mean, this is basic shit. And I'm 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 gonna guess <laughs> that you lose turtles that way. Again, you cook them. They need to regulate their own temperature. They, they regulate, you know, they, they they bask in the sun. They go cool off. <laughs> they do that themselves. They just leave them out there cooking. Oh, God, that bothers me. It bothers me a lot. You have to have an option. The only reason they weren't open today is because it rains. And yeah. we're not here, and we knew we weren't going to be here. So fast yeah, this morning. morning. I had an eye doctor's appointment. And I had to go to the courthouse. I had to apply for that thing, and they didn't give it to me. Yeah. I got a they won't I give it to me. What, what won't they give you? A no harassment yeah. order, a protection order uh, against that bastard. Uh, He's allowed to do anything he wants and say anything he wants. He's called me a child molester. He's said that I beat her right in front of the whole town. He so why don't you... Uh, selling dope. I'm going to let the talk. If, if you hire a lawyer, he it seems like he has some money. See that right there. That is a problem. You caught that statement there? He just told her. So why don't you hire a lawyer? It seems like he has some money. I, you know, she... Yep, I found a fake sword. Yeah. Hey, show Sissy. She knows how that works very good, too. See? Yeah. No, I know it's a it's a Halloween prop. It's a toy. It's a toy for blood. Uh, it, well, it's a it's a it's a toy uh, Halloween costume thing. Yeah. It's for killing. It's not. It's not real at all. It's just for blood to come down. It's a blood. Halloween costume. It's scary. Go show Sissy. She'll she'll tell you about it. She found um she found like a <laughs> a, a toy like Halloween. There was a Jason Voorhees. Like toy machine, it's like a big plastic one, and that's the thing, you know, where it was. She's like, That's scary, dad. I was like, Yeah, it's scary, but I mean, that that's the legal giving out legal advice like that that's its problem. But, but on top of that, it just gives you a it gives you a look into the mindset 
I mean, he's he's just said there are violations here. There are indeed. And there's these allegations and they are they they're huge allegations like. I mean, if, if, if these things are actually coming up and he's not the person. Fishing wildlife is not the people that investigate this. So he has no basis on saying whether these claims have ever been made. If they have, if there's any truth or not to it, he, d- he doesn't know any of that. All he knows is he's come out here for a, a complaint about this. And if if this is indeed a complaint from Jeremy Hale, he's found violations. So, I mean, that's that's disturbing to me. And again, giving legally, uh-uh. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing now. So, yeah. I'm going to let the dogs out. Okay. They don't bite. I don't, I don't, I, they're I get little, they're little things. I get along with most animals. Yeah, and when I knocked on the door, I heard him barking. So, um, and this, and the same way, the, well, oh, since money. we're here, let's do the water tortoise. Uh, what do you have in the uh, water turtle? I, uh, so Jeremy did file a complaint, someone said in the chat, and they said he did nothing wrong. Yeah, I, I, I see how that's just part of your job being out there. Yeah, by the way, you should go sue your neighbor. <laughs> Fuck all that, man. Am I am I shocked? Am I shocked that a place that would have again multiple judges tell me that a peeping tom, they're not a they they shouldn't really be punished. It, it's it's too much. It's too much to give them uh more than three months. Am I am I shocked that they wouldn't find anything wrong? Not really. I brought two red ears with me from Iowa. So how long, uh, how, when did you come from Iowa? I've been here for years. All right, so you oh, lived in. Don't scare me, guys. I know I need a permit to take in any, any other red ears. So those were yours? You yeah. had them for years? Yes, okay. they're mine. They're how long right. have you had them for, would you say? The, tor- the yeah. turtles? We've probably had, I've had them since probably the two years before I came here. So these um, are pets, too. You notice that. Again, that's a statement on conditions. It's also a statement on permits. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, I'd have to have more, but I, I've had these for years. These are these are mine. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, th- those are just yours. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> everything, everything from Go has been, well, typically they have more. Typically I don't have this. Oh, by the way, my friend has my turtles. Oh, yeah, these turtles. Well, th- those are my old pets too. Just like the other one was my pet. When did you come here? I came here, what, 22. I've been here for about, what, nine years now? Nine years? Okay. So they've been here a long time. There's a sunshine in here, and there's two yellow bellies. They need clean. There was a yellow belly. So what do you have in there? I'm sorry, uh, two yellow bellies and what? Yeah, we can drain it. It's clean anyway. So she got hey. two yellow bellies living hey. in here? Hi. 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 Does it just twist off? Hold on. Don't wreck my clothes. Yeah, I need something square to get it off. Hold on. Somebody Is there a way to turtles to get out of that? What's her name? Harley Grace. Look up Harley. Look out, Harley Grace. Is there a way for the turtles to get out? Oh, no. It's a, it, it's it's a square. Yeah. Don't don't fall in, Mama. It's probably too big. Does only the white thing spin? Yeah. See, that's what I was looking for in this. I'm looking for a way that the turtles could actually climb out. They have a they have a couple of planks over the top. They have something that's floating there. <laughs> you could say is a that's not an attempt at shading. So when I look at that, they, I don't see any way to get out. If they can't get out, it, it, it's it's a stew pot. I mean, there's no, you know, if you have turtles that live in a, um, in like a pond that has no shading, 
what the turtles will do is they'll they'll dig into the mud. You know, they'll hide down in the mud and they'll cool themselves off if they have that. Well, there's nothing there. I mean, there's a lot of filth, but I don't think I don't think that counts as mud unless I'm unless I'm viewing it wrong. I'll, just, I'll go grab something. John, bring me something to drain that turtle tank, please. A, a socket. A shotgun. Square thing. Don't lean over, <laughs> mommy. Um, <laughs> don't take the. Don't take yeah, the. Yeah, don't the, take the leaf. Well, the, yeah, like somebody said, the uh, the Don't boards the are putting in the sunbathe, and there's a another. I think that's all. Off of that. Yeah, it's supposed to let them get out of the water and sunbathe, but there's nowhere for them to retreat to because I mean these boards are not big enough to hide under, you know, or to hide out the sun. Really. They don't really have it set up for. Uh, oh, did you see that too? So that, give me a second here. Catch this, just a second. It's gonna take me a second. I want to catch it. I'm gonna catch it on the frame. Come on, come on. Look down, buddy. Look at that there. So this is the this is the food for the turtles, right? Yeah. I mean, you would think that was supposed to be their food. I mean, look at the condition of it. I mean, really think about that. You're you're throwing your. Uh, the turtles we fed um we fed one of my friends had a a big old turtle a, a turtle i said a turtle look at this it looks like a turd <laughs> turtle a tortoise a turtle <laughs> they're at a turtle like that place and we had he had a tortoise and we would feed it watermelon you know you feed it something that's not a dried up nasty rind either a they fed it correctly and just left it out, which is a problem. Or B, they're feeding them garbage. Or C, <laughs> they're not feeding them properly at all. It's probably C, not feeding them properly, probably feeding them garbage. Like again, the, the Wind Dixie and. All that stuff goes in. But this should be a problem, too. When you notice something like that. And he cued in on it. You notice he was like, hmm, what's up with that? Leave him alone. Snake, mommy. Get back over to mama. He's going to get bit by a snake. I don't know what's around him. We found lots of snakes. They had groceries on the ground at one point. Yuck. Here in this nasty place. Poor turtises. <laughs> turtises. <laughs> Uh, so, so what do you say? Uh, you have uh, two red ears and and two. Okay, we're done. Yeah. Oh, I thought I tried that. <laughs> oh, this didn't work. They two red ears and yeah, two, two yellow bellies. That was just. Hey, look. Hey, look. Why are you calling mommy Michelle? Yo. There we go. Okay, mommy, look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! Don't oh, look out. you're gonna get all wet. Yep. Oh man, that ain't wet. That's yeah, it's gross water. Yeah, no shit. It's all pea soup. Yeah. These babies, and what we need, what I want to do with these, I want them to have an oh, indoor yeah, outdoor yeah. area. So I want to fence off a little piece um, and make it so they can crawl out. Yeah. Um, oh, right. you're going to step in water, honey. Yeah, and your brand new shoes. Look out. Go. I don't want your shoes in it. Go that way. But I'm fighting with him on it. So, yeah, this water's right. way too dirty. I know. Um, I and this is another yeah. one where you're going to want to shade some of it somehow. Oh, if, shit. If, you know, if you had something a little off the, you can even put a tin over it if you wanted yeah, to. I can do that. I've got wood right there. Yeah. Put, so that way. This has been the easiest thing to do. Again, this is what bothers me about. You have this guy come out. He finds violations on a complaint. And he's still like, oh, well, you should sue the people that that have made complaints. That bothers me so much. Give me one second. I'm going to pull up the. 
<laughs> Catherine, thanks for the five. Bigfoot was in the mood for pressure cook turtles. <laughs> indeed, indeed. It seems like it. Kathy, thanks for the five there. If she's worried that it, uh, if it rains, they'll drown. Her pins are not sufficient. I indeed. You know you have a problem. If you look at the pins and you're like, my animals might drown in it, then yeah, you need to go back and rework it. Joyce, thanks for the five. Video <laughs> JC doing a, a perp walk officer. <laughs> Tracy, thanks for the five. Um, it rains every day here in Florida. What's she talking about? <laughs> indeed. Michael, thanks for this. She's not been there for years. How long has she been there? I mean, just quickly, does anybody like know the actual like length of time? Kimberly, thanks for the vibe. Need to watch a new video about the turtle where John says the child plays. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, like, because I, I, I've been catching up videos and, and this one. Um, half and half. And then uh, that way, if it, you I let like, it. I want to look at this myself. This should stay cool mm -hmm. enough where. 2001. That's nine watch. years, man. Yeah, but you know yeah. what? That's nine years. Here, I'm going to be fair, right? It's seven years per year in dog years, right? And apparently, it's only half that in meth years. <laughs> That's how it works. Little people in the wall years, it's three and a half. <laughs> it's three and a half per. So you get seven years for dog years. Turtle soup years, three and a half. Meth years, got it. Yeah. Well, they should still be able to get into some shade too. Right, now, please don't. So I don't. I don't mind green water. I don't want green turbid water. So you see how all that mess is there? Yeah. So, so it's four and a half years. My bad. So she said two years. All right. She said uh, nine years. Right. Nine years. Okay. So it'd be four and a half years per since it was what. 2021, they moved there. It's 2023 on the counter, right there on this thing. So that's two years, right? Let's just say, I hate that I'm giving this so much thought. <laughs> Seven years per dog years, four and a half years meth years. Okay, got it. <laughs> why, why, why am I like, I, I need to math leap this out. <laughs> if it's just slightly green because of uh, water algae, that's fine. But when it gets turbid like that, you definitely got to change it. Yeah. Can you listen to him now? I, I understand drain it i just can't i know pulling the blocks out at this moment that's why it's green john well you can keep the blocks in there oh no I just just hose it because i pick it all the way up and i hose it on out well well it, well if you can't do that you can do what's second best and just hose it like it is because okay. it's better than nothing right right so that way, if someone complains i come here everything's good i mean there's there's nothing i could i do about it he doesn't mind it being lightly green, but it can't. Happen. Again, you, you hear that statement too. Instead of being like, yo, clean up your shit. You're killing your animals. It's like, well, if you do the bare minimum and clean it up, well, then if somebody complains, oh, there's nothing I can do about it. Wink, wink, hint, hint. See, that seems like a problem to me too. That seems like more fucking back padding from people. Just that, anyway, that's how I take it. The crap that's floating up in the bottom. Yeah, it can't be the sludge. It can't be. It can't be thick. No, no, don't see them. So what usual I do? I mean, <laughs> it can be yeah, translucent, yeah. translucent green. As a matter of fact, you can put probably like an algicide in there to kill some of the algae. Now, algicide won't hurt them. Now, I put algicide in with my fish and turtles. Oh, go ahead. And turtles are hardier than fish. I've so. got a pump and everything. Once we put the pool in. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> To, to like a sump pump, you could get a. No, I got a. Oh, oh, okay. All right, nice. <laughs> so it depends on the algae of, side. By so the way. you can use you're something gonna like be... you can use something like algae fix. You know, <laughs> something that would be something that would be safe for them. But you have to you have to make sure that you use the right thing because you have to remember with fish too. Yes, this stuff can be safe for fish, but it's not safe for exotic fish, typically. So that tells you that there can be issues. And there are definitely issues when you look around and you're like, these people might pump bleach into the water. <laughs> you know, that'll kill the algae. Yeah, I would I would want to be a little more specific. Like, I might name a brand name or something. I'm just saying, you know, 
They're like, ah, yeah, we manufacture some algae side <laughs> out in the shed back there, allegedly. He, I, no. surgery on Wednesday. Is it a back surgery Mommy, or a knee surgery? You're going oh. to go to the I'm camper. So I got oh. such a bad infection in there, it's unreal. They gotta rip it on out. You wanna go to the camper? It's my fake knee. Pack it full of cement and antibiotics, close it back up, wait to see if that heals. Oh, geez, yeah. And then they can put in my new knee again. Otherwise, so it was a, uh, an infection from the knee implant? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's the second knee. Jeez. So he's on his third. He's on his third knee. So we need to bring over some plywood today. Put it over here so it has half shade, half and, and And it could be a, a piece of tin. Yeah, tin's lighter. I've just figured it out. I know what's happening to the turtles. I got it now. They're not kneecaps. They're turtle shells. Think about it. He's on his third turtle shell. <laughs> hey, what? If he wasn't in the bathroom, it would have been show coffin. She's what? If he was on the show coffin. Oh, she's over there on the shoe thing? Okay. Well, go talk to her then. She's right up there. Go talk to her. We call, we, we call, we, we have a big shoe holder in the, in the, um, in the entryway for our house <laughs> and the kids call it the shoe coffin <laughs> you know because you put the shoes in it you know and you shut it <laughs> and they call it the shoe coffin that's what she was like she was sitting on the shoe coffin <laughs> Squishy was. yeah squishy was oh my bad i thought you said sissy was where's sissy at she's in the room by her dead come dad from my friend well go hang out go have fun yeah, you know what? If you're good, I'll get you one more of those ice creams later on. Okay, well, go go play, go watch your thing, and show that to Sissy. Like I said, yeah, show her squishy. Show her how good squishy's looking these days. She has a little squishy toy. She put. Uh, she has a little um, hand cleaner that's inside of it, <laughs> and she likes carrying it around. She's like, I love Squishy because my hands clean. See, the kids know. It's like, uh, if the kids would like be like, I ain't, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing this place here. Oh. Hey, Teddy, thanks for the tea. You're getting drawn down the trail. Oh, I am. Oh, no. Mark thinks they're five. Is he being nice to them because he's used to uh, his visits, <laughs> including a reloading doorbell? Yeah, that's what we have. Are you learning doorbell? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what the problem is. Janice, thanks for the dinner. She moved to Florida nine years ago. She moved to Otter Creek in 2021. Hmm. Seems a little old. Like she's, she suffers from a sickness. It's called liabetes, right? <laughs> Emma thinks of five. Some puppy mills get the green light because the animals have the bare minimum for food and shelter. Animal care standards aren't high. So that's true. That's very true. It's, it's horrible what is allowed. Dwayne thinks we do. Nine years still doesn't know how to take care of them. And she said before then, too. Now, so Jack's mom is a crook. 501c3 is an officer or a board member. I, that's, I haven't even looked at that. You know, that's actually kind of sure. interesting. If you have 10, I'm curious yeah, how you put 10 over. We got, the, we got 10. Piece. We got stuff that's right there. Yeah. Yeah, if I didn't right break there. that thing in half. Could have used that. Heck, you could even uh, lean the boat. You can even lean the boat against it and shade it. Because you're gonna, like he said, you got shade in the morning probably. Yeah. So it's one. So if you got put enough the refuse boat, like, around lean, there, lean that boat over this. My way, God. You get some shade. Idea. But it's pretty heavy though. I'll help you move it if you want. I'll help you move it. If you had a little sheet of tin, it'd be better. Because I, 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 yeah. I will take care of that. I've got a stack of tin over there. That, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I know you're running a 501 C3, but uh, I'll actually help you move stuff around. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to do your own work for you? Oh, wait a minute. That's all their pets anyway, right? <laughs> if you will watch her, let me take care of that problem now. I want to rectify. It. Well, let's go to the sulcatas now that that's draining. Okay. I so, go just to break this down, everything you, they've looked what at. What do you say, Haley problem. Grace? Harley. 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 What are you yelling at, Harley? She loves motorcycles. <laughs> She's a motorcycle mama. I adopted her at birth. There's six of them, and they're all the same. They oh. All love to ride motorcycles. Has she had head surgery or something? Like, I don't mean that rudely. I'm just asking. Like, there's a, a, it looks like a gap on her hair. Has she had 
some kind of surgery or Baby. am I just not seeing that correctly? See, I mean, look, is that yap right there? Just balding. I mean, I'm curious because it's. Yeah. I mean, is it just shaved around there? We got a kid running around all these chickens again. Like I said, all the issues. She claims health issues, and yet this kid is exposed to all of that right there. I mean, kid would be exposed to it anyway, but I'm just saying as as a demonstration of it, you see it right here. And they don't they don't see a problem there at all. Hair uh, I don't necessarily do the chickens. Dude, wait, wait, wait. I want to see that again. Go back, go back. I want to, I'm, I'm sorry I jumped so far. I didn't mean to, but I want to, I just want to see around that corner. I want to see into that little bit. Yeah. I want to pause it on there. I want to see the condition. Okay. Open, there. open it up. Open it, my friend. Open, open. Zoom down, zoom down. There. Is that a garbage can? Is that a garbage can they're keeping? In? I mean, I, I've, I've seen that done with dogs and stuff before. So, I mean, I'm not saying that that would be a oh, man. That smell in that tent would be bad. <laughs> Lord, smell it. Oh, God, that place. I could smell it right now. All right. I don't necessarily do the chickens. I know. Oh, you okay. got me a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to back up just a little bit more. Uh, I'm, I'm going to catch it this time. I apologize. So he gives us a look down. Yeah, garbage cans. That's what I thought that was. Man, look at that place. Wow. Goodness. Let me see. I was looking around. You see the flies okay. buzzing around? Yeah, that's garbage, isn't it? Small ones. We got pellets God, that looks like... I thought that was... Okay. I thought that was garbage. I didn't think that was actually pelleted food because you see all the, the debris and the sides and stuff. Turtles. Okay. Everybody sat in the Harley, don't go back there. You're going to get bit by a snake. Oh, you're going to get bit by a snake, too. Come time. Come time. So, yeah. I'll... Yeah, that actually looks pretty dangerous out there. I was telling a story with Megan Fox. We had some... Uh, no offense to anyone, but if someone moves to the south from, you know, the north... <laughs> They, they a lot of people refer to them as Yankees carpetbaggers around here. So, um, especially if they disrupt an area. So, a lot of people refer to these folks as carpetbaggers. Okay, so these these uh these folks moved in and built a flamingo pink house out by a beautiful place. You just uh, have a like a mountain view and everything else. They built this horrible looking house, horrible thing I've never seen. It's like horrible, and they diverted a um. They diverted Mountain Creek down by it. And they let their kids play around it. You know, you'd get water moccasins rolling up. And I didn't see any danger in it. And it, it always baffled me seeing people that, you know, see, you're from him, areas you're like, oh. Then when they get big, it's got to be significant for him. Because remember, it's got to be to his length, to his width. Okay. So. He dug that and I. Yeah, I mean, these. This is full of hay. That he'll drown in. He'll drown in that. And so we need Wait. to butt that out and make that round so he can walk in and walk out. Walk in. Well, and and walk well you out. don't have to fully you don't have to fill it completely up though. Oh, Only fill it like three inches. Yeah. Uh oh, he's stuck. There you go. He's a big guy. We rescued him. He's very um Notoriety. He's very known. For hey, what? Yeah, I picked him up. What's that? Yeah, I picked him up. What's? I don't know. What'd you say? I picked him up. The what? Come follow you. I heard that. <laughs> um, Tilly, get over here. Stop because of snakes, mommy. I don't know if there's any snakes. God, this place is dangerous. That dot, that Dotson will be a pretty good chicken. snake catcher. Spider webs is what she's saying. Oh, spider webs? All right, so he built that one, but 
but they leak. They don't keep water, so I have to figure out how to make. So them what you could get is a is it is a, a, a pool mat membrane. or like yeah. We have the rubber membrane over here. We just oh Jesus! <laughs> so look at those conditions, man. Looks horrible. Look at that. And because all this happened, hey, buddy. Him, and I don't know the difference in the toys. Here, I see it. It's a spider. Leave it alone. It's bad. I want to rescue the tortoises from the supposed rescue. What do you know, what do you I think know? you got two males in there, too. But there's definitely two males in this one. Well, they just oh. Oh. stop. What happened? You go boom. look at the size of that. Look, look at the size of it. That does not look like a. <sighs> I'd love to see the conditions of those because that man. I mean, look at that place. It's a web. A spider web where? It's over there. We already saw it. Calm down. There's now. spider web right there. Yeah. No. no, that there is. They did. They so have, this this one doesn't have uh, even have one. Oh, this this is the leopard. She did have. See, did there's have the other one. one. You could see it. Yeah, but it's not big enough. Yeah. Remember, she's the biggest one, yeah. so it's got to be twice her length. And this one's probably not quite big enough for them. Right. We only did. We see that pen is getting put up right here. Right. But then John couldn't do it. I've already called my friend Wayne, and he's coming. And him and me are going to finish these two off. Okay. So hey, this one will be finished, and this one will be finished, hey. and then that's for the duck. Oh, but you okay? Hey. I conked you in the head. We'll do. Spider web. Where's the spider web? Poopy girl. Right there in that door. Wait, wait, wait! All the, all the. I... All the statements about the kid and diapers and stuff, and they call her poopy girl. Hmm. So I would recommend, like, now you got to get those thick rubber mats, and, and you could even get maybe even a stall mat. You know those thick stall mats, and then yeah, and then just and all that has to do is swale down a little. Um, we did catch that, right? I mean, all the all the statements about her, the conditions and stuff, and they they call her poopy girl that would be the last thing you know again I, i'm not saying that as a joke you might not have like a, a stupid nickname you know but with everything there i would never you know you, you wouldn't refer to something that would be a horrific condition for a kid as a as a nickname i mean it just seems to have kind of veracity to it hey jeff Thanks for the fun there. If I, Debbie Vaughn can confirm that Jeremy and George gave their okay. They actually were in the chat and they did. So that's why I pinned it and stuff. They did give their okay to it. So I did. I, I pinned it. And again, I need to look at it again in just a minute. And Jack's mom, thanks for the 10. 496 for the statute requires a charity to register. So that's contributions. That's 496 point. 405A prohibits individuals with a felony record to be an officer director of a charity soliciting money hmm fascinating huh um but i recommend the pools being being in the shaded area because if they're in a shaded area they're going to stay cool they're going to that makes give sense. some so relief like, do it in the corner and yeah. maybe make a triangular yeah what, let me look at that yeah. real quick. and it wouldn't have to like i said you don't have to go crazy with cement you could you could just do a wallow yeah, it doesn't have to be dollars. two That's inches good. is probably fine for him. Okay, so here Wayne and I. I'll see if Wayne will help. I would me. say if every if every stream that people are talking about with the hills, if if people would put up the GoFundMe. By the way, like the GoFundMe right now is picked up. Um, what what was it? Forty one when I first looked at it i think it was i, I can't remember my, I mean, my brain is tired from all the that from all the meth math <laughs> it's hard to say meth math <laughs> from doing that meth math it messed me up but i think it was at 41 now it's at 47.51 so it is moving there that's good you know again over time it'll be up 
it'll be a trudge movie, but at the same time, it's good. It's good. Everybody that's covering that, if they did that, people remind them, remind them every time. And I appreciate you all mentioning it to me too. Do it this when you're in the hospital. So all it needs to be is about two or three inches down, and I can use the pool membrane. Yeah. And lay the pool membrane out. The only bad thing about like a pool membrane is they're so strong that their claws could tear, pop, pop, yep. potentially That's tear. It's so it's yeah. It's not a wait, stop. It's a pond membrane. Okay, no. pond might work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm calling it the wrong. I'll show it to you. It's folded. And then, and then, if you actually wallow it a little deeper and mm -hmm. put some rocks over it, then they're not going to dig at the hopefully and even right. claw at the yeah, membrane. Yeah, and I got. You might. Yeah. Rock or even you can get clay. Something where they're going to keep off that membrane. It, it seems so It seems so atypical to be walking around and seeing, like, again, what's done right here? Like, th there's your question. Like, my question wouldn't be, you know, there, there are a few violations here and there, but what actually is done right? And again, on top of it, you have missing animals and everything else. So when you run into conditions that are substandard, you have all of these questions. I mean, it, just, it doesn't seem like something you'd be like, well, yeah, you know, hey, let's just fix it up. By the way, maybe you should sue the person that complained about this. Correct. You need to feed them and water them. No one needs to be <laughs> Haven't been home. Where it's is Cecil? Farm life. It's it's Monday. It's one of the. This is not farm life. It's not a farm. Supposed to be a freaking sanctuary. Man, I've. I hate that statement too. I've I've worked living around farms. My uh, my uncle was a soybean farmer until he uh actually switch over government actually pays people in these areas to raise uh trees on land because the the ground is so it's so good so when so we mean that that market crashed out but yeah i've seen that i've uh cut spike tobacco you know i've dealt with just all types of farming cattle too and to call this a fucking farm life are you kidding me you know you got some some chickens in some horrible conditions. You call that farm life. Yeah. He don't move unless he wants to. Yeah, it's supposed to be a, a turtle sanctuary. Look at that. Hey, Cecil. Look at that setup, too. You know, the turtle, that was one of the problems you heard. You heard him say, oh, the turtle's stuck. It's because it's not big enough. Not big enough for them. And I mean, look at how the, the water and everything is set up. I'm looking for a spider web. You looking for spider web? I want to turn my freaking backyard into a turtle sanctuary and just show how it's done. <laughs> Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll, uh, I'll get out of here so you know what you have to do, right? Uh oh. Yeah, everything. That's not natural. <laughs> well, I guess it is, but not for those two, two different species. And they're both boys. Oh, they. <laughs> So are those two, and they yeah. still hump each other. Well, uh, they were like doing a little battle, but well, not too hard, though. First it was, then uh, I came by, it was the humping. Oh, yeah. One must have got sick of Get off me. <laughs> he, thought the, he, he thinks the turtles fighting with each other, you know, because they're they're two males. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, they're just trying to get busy. Oh, what's... Let me see, so... What in the heck are you doing? Here, bud. Uh oh, come on, you're all right. Look, yeah, he doesn't like you Harley, effing with him, go. man. Harley, go. He's going, he's going for it. Here, I got 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 it. Here, I got
He's gonna leave. He's gonna leave. Yeah, he's like, I'm out of here. The turtle's like, save me, dude. You got a car? Let's leave. That's what he's doing. He's making a break for it. I mean, what does the turtle have to do? Hold up a sign? I mean, wouldn't that be amazing? It comes out with a like. It comes out with a sign. It's like, save me, dude. It's like, yeah, you probably need to build a bigger shelter. <laughs> like, what's up? They ripped their fence wide open. Yeah, they're strong. These are strong animals. Yeah, he's trying to bust loose. Yeah, they're strong. They're ripping out the fences, trying to get away. Oh my God! I'm coming out, Harley. I've had. I'm gonna be a cool sanctuary. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do in my backyard. Not Cecil George. I've had him on top of me with cinder blocks on top of me. He came over the wall. The wall came down. Oh, Our little geez. Italian neighbor jumped the freaking fence in Northport. He's pulling the cord. So, so who did you know that had all the big, big cats and stuff that you? Oxon. Oh, you worked with Laurie and yep. Uh, Pete. Yep. No, not You're probably not me. Pete though. Yes. Pete was still alive when yes, you were here? Yes. I knew Pete for a couple of years. Before <laughs> I was waiting to hear Carol Baskin. <laughs> so who did you know back then? Oh, Tiger King. Carol Baskin. <laughs> You're like, what? Oh, wow. Chris lives I still got a panther skull that Pete gave me. Chris lives, lives two houses well, That's lovely. Down. He had his tigers. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's my best friend. Jim did did best Chris friend. die? Yeah, I can't talk about it. Okay, yeah, I heard Chris um, died. He did. He, um... <laughs> He's giving you skulls from the animals. He's digging yeah, it's not, he was a tall, uh, like a big redheaded guy, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Blonde, but he was a big guy. Tall, yeah, big yeah, yeah. guy. And he he decided to start eating raw meat like the animals. Oh, geez. And he hurt his heart and he hurt his kidneys. And I, he called me. Um, called me in the morning, or I called him in the morning. I said, hey, what's up? And he said, honey, I got to go. I don't feel really good. I'm laying on the floor. That was February 12th of the year that he died. Uh, he died that one. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. He's my best friend. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, David Weather, yeah, I, friend. well, David knows me very well. David, my name's Ken Holmes. If you throw my name, David and Lori will both know me very well. Um, Chris, I only met him a couple times because I was inspecting down there and he just kind of set it up a little. Probably had it for five years before I left, but he was gonna. He had a pond in the back, and his his idea was to enclose that all for the tigers. Did he ever do that? No, didn't get there. <laughs> so today, today I'm just gonna give you some written warnings. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna. We don't. We don't typically come in unless it's like animal cruelty type stuff. We don't take the animals right away. Um, so now you'll have plenty of time to fix it. How is it not cruelty? I mean, what do you have to do? Oh, we just dry roasted one like a peanut. <laughs> I mean, hey, we got them missing. We're giving them, giving them away to friends. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have places for them. To, what, what constant, what do you have to do? I mean, really? My God. Yeah, well, you're not actually killing them in front of me. I mean, they are. They kind of are killing them in front of you. Oh, Lord. Heather, thanks for the two. The baby's living in squalor and danger. So sad, indeed. He thinks for the den there. Toddler here's yelling, screaming, fighting, cussing all day long, unless she's uh, been giving her a huge dose of melatonin so Lionette doesn't have to deal with her. Mm -hmm. Rhea Ryan, thanks for the vibe. The way the little girl is so excited. I wonder if it's because someone's actually giving her attention. Yeah. I wonder, you know, I, I do wonder with that. At the same time, you know, like, kids like attention too. So I, I'm careful on that thing. But th this kid, I don't, I, it, it, it's, this situation is, it, it breaks my heart. It does. Because when you just hear some of the stuff, you hear about, oh, well, she could run out in the road and she's running out again. Just look at the conditions there. It's heartbreaking. It is. So, I really hope if when when people come in and, and look at the situation, they would do some due diligence. Arthur, thanks for joining. Her excuses made me think of a bill collector calling because they didn't get uh, my payment and me saying, oh, no, yeah, I mailed it out last week. I wonder why I haven't received it yet. Exactly. Man, oh, shit, I forgot to pay it. 
Indeed, it does. It sounds like it sounds like, oh, man, if I talk enough, I won't have problems. What I want you to do. Give him dirt. What? What? what I, <laughs> you got me dirt. You're crazy. Um, it's like, oh, yeah, here's um, some food. That's what I'm eating later. If, if you needed 30 days, is typically what we do. But if, feel free. If you, if, uh-uh, no, no. If you need. If, no, no. I'll give you my no. card. If you need more time, just let me know. That's crazy okay. too. So, so a month is typical. Like, how long do you think an animal could live in it with some of these issues? So, a month is typical. But if you need more time, again, it, you're not talking about just overhaul. You're talking about some basics, like adding shade. Again, they could flip over a boat. <laughs> they have all of the stuff there. If you need more time, if you need over a month, <laughs> my God. And again, this is your, this is your rescue, your sanctuary. Oh, that bothers me. Get it done. Yeah. Get the- well, you got other stuff. I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt me if it took you not 90 days. To get 90 it, so. days? Freaking three months. That's how long they gave the peeping Tom. <laughs> oh my God. What is it with three months in these people? Oh my God. Help me. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> oh Lord. My brain. It's it's malfunctioning. Well let me uh let me give you my card. Okay. Hey, hey you. Hey you. Hi. Hi. Why? I'm getting attacked by. Oh, oh. You got a dig out spot. Well, that's what it's like. 90 days. <laughs> hey, what, you guys get an alligator? Yeah, it looks like something an alligator would be shipped in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Nice. Hell, it's biting. Come on, write that up. Let me see if he, I, I didn't see the very end here. I just want to see like if there's anything documented in that. Let's see how long he was spending there. If he spent like a, a month of Sundays, I was gonna jump forward to. What are you doing? You can't you can't run from my you don't run for hey don't hey, she's going through the road. She's going for the road, man. Oh. Now she's going for the scrapyard over there. Get all this shit over there. Stand up. Let mommy show you. My God. You see this? It's dangerous. Come on. Yeah. Oh, look, all the glass over she'll there. She'll put you in dangerous. the car seat again. Yeah, she'll go right back in the car. We'll roll around in it today. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Let's not clean oh, it up. Me. Let's just. <laughs> Somebody said this must be the hardest uh, part with the background with the kid there. You know what the hardest part is, honestly. I'll tell you what the hardest part is. Looking at people and you could pretty much say, yeah. Again, you know, you can't remote diagnose people, but you can look at the situation and you can you can make some pretty credible assertions. But can't do that. <laughs> so I'm not not doing that in any way, shape, or form. But that's the hardest part. Not to be like, yo, here's a problem X, here's a problem Y, here's a problem Z. I am curious about that, that okay. mental health no, evaluation. It's, it's still going. I just saw one poke his head up. Oh, there's one over here. See a shell? I see him. That must be sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> yep. Sunshine. 
So here, let's put this on this side because there's a sun. This is maybe he's Watch also out, good for a four year old. Let me Look just say that. Is it typical? I'm not saying that to be ugly. At four years old, baby ease is, you know, it's a little baby. You know, it, 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 that's a four year old. Oh, she's three there. My bad. My bad. You're right. You're right. She's still three. Still, man. She you with your baby? She's Why, honey? My baby, you know, I mean, you know I, I, I don't think Do I've ever used, ever used baby ease, period. Like, kid, it's, uh, his neck looks gross. Oh, what's on you? His hard. neck looks gross. I wonder. Have you ever seen the shell isn't rotted? What? It's a little swollen, don't it? The animal's sick. I think you know what it means. Last you. It needs some antibiotics. So this, she just pulled out a sick animal in front of this dude, and there's no cruel. I mean. She's like, well, the shell, it's, it's not right. It's because it's living in filth. It's living in conditions where, again, it can't shade itself. It can't regulate its body temperature. She's been left there to stew. So she pulls out an animal and says, it looks sick. And the guy doesn't even blink. Like that, that is astounding and infuriating. on its neck. I don't know. I'll have to check and see what is that. Do you think there's something wrong with it? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Solid. Mm. There's no rot on the shell. No rot on the shell. I mean, I when you get to the point where there's rot. rot. I try to tell him that. They need more a way to get out of the water. You could actually, rather than have those two little boards, put another plywood over there. Have a whole bit. So that way they'll give them shade under there too. Holy really crap, man. And I do like hiding under there. The only problem with that is you're going to have to remove it sometimes to get a hold of them because they'll they'll use it to hide. Yeah. So, but it doesn't have even that, that big. You can push these in and, and put something a little smaller. There's somebody. Hey, what are you doing, booger? Hey, yeah, they all look that way. So there's, the same, there's no rot, clean, yellow belly. That's not how you check a turtle. So yeah, uh, four either. total you, or five. I see sunshine again. But you check a turtle. I, I don't know if you've ever done that. You can check them for you know any soft. Thing. Once you get to the point where you feel the problems, you've got a dead turtle more than likely. I mean, when you're looking at it, and there's, <laughs> I mean, she's telling him straight up, there are problems. And she's like, "What do you think?" He's like, "Eh, yeah, well, I don't, I don't see any problems." But he's easy to yeah, see. Yeah, I'm not seeing my red ears. I saw one red ear. I saw his head. I'm he was actually the most friendly. Less. Yeah, because she's been mine for ever. What? I love to see those turtle. I, you know, if I could get a clear picture, I'd tell you what's wrong with them. I've seen a lot of turtles. A lot of, a lot of. A lot of sliders. We get them all over the place out here. You know, I've been catching sliders since I was a little kid. And again, you know, I've raised a bunch of them. I had a, I had a, I had a yellow belly that had been, it was just a tiny little turtle. And again, you know, my grandfather has, uh, has property where they, they get into the cow ponds. I mean, they're everywhere, you know, so they're not, they're not pets. They're wild animals. They're just everywhere. But the cattle, Sometimes, like especially the, the bigger ones are smarter about it or they'll dig into mud where, you know, an impact, it would just push them down in the mud. It, it actually end up channeling their way out. I used to, I used to think, man, that thing's going to die. Now I'm good to go. But I found a, a yellow belly that had been stepped on when it was young. It cracked its shell, took it home, figured out how to take care of it, you know, figured out how to actually introduce it not a sanctuary or anything like that just to get home and make sure that uh after a while that the shell would uh would mend because it was it was young and then reintroduced it to a place where there would be no predators out there that would end up taking it out because you know again if you take an animal you shelter it from from it being young and then reintroduce it to the wild you have to be very careful where you 
where you reintroduce it to. But I mean, we've done stuff like that a long time. And you can look at them. I mean, you can see turtles in the wild if they get sick or something's happening to them. And also, um, there's a place here that it's in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. There's a, a pet store that also it picks up um, picks up a lot of rescues. And they do a good job. They actually have people that come, they, they evaluate them very well. And um, we've seen all manner of pets that have been through terrible stuff, you know, where people abandon like their pets in their home. They leave them in the tanks, just terrible, terrible conditions like that. And yeah, I mean, some of the stuff you're describing here, it's, ne it, it's neglecting an animal. It is, it's abuse. It absolutely is abuse. It's amazing. Uh, the water's down. Right there. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's the same one I just had. Hey, let me There's probably no way I could. Even keep, keeping this at a slight angle. There's, there's one. one, yeah. Oh, this one's got something on the foot. Oh, this one does have a problem. So this one is has a problem here. Out of the water. Ah, you can't see it well enough. Yeah, it looks like there's a problem with the, the way the shell is there. What is that? Mm. That's kind of, you need to be dry. Iodine. Um, I'll give them iodine baths. I'm gonna keep this empty. Okay. I'm gonna mm. empty and then I'm gonna get, keep them out. They've been fighting. That's what's happened. If the other one bit him. They've been fighting. So they together. I hope she knows how to do an iodine bath too. This one can't be in here. I mean, what she's telling you here is that Careful, she's noticing uh, fungal Don't go issues in here. with it. You know, if you're talking about iodine baths, that's, that's what she's telling you. Like, it's got growth on it. There's something wrong with its skin. I think she's telling you this right in front of somebody that's supposed to protect them. Get out of there! You get nails and stuff. You know, kids running through. Even the guy here is like, oh, you get nails, but... Well, you're Harley, not a fish or wildlife. Do you see the nails? You're going to get fall and get one right in your eye. Can oh you come God. with mommy? Can we come with the turtle? Oh, that's come, on. come on. Please. Please. Come on. So there are nails everywhere outside. The kid's running around. And, and instead of being like, yo, maybe, maybe I should clean up that area. You're like, no, no, no. Here, here, why don't you come over and not play in that area like you know, sometimes happens. <laughs> and dude is like, yeah. Yeah, maybe you should sue that guy that's made complaints. <laughs> Holy shit. Please listen to mommy. Say, say you got all wet hands, huh, mama? Mommy has all wet hands. Well, the kid's been in that funk water, too. She's been right there with it. Let's find a coat so we can do it. You see how she's handling the reptiles, though. I mean, if she's not cleaning hands, or I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that she's touched that kid more than once while doing all this stuff, just in this video alone. Yeah, you can. All right, so where, where you got someplace dry? I can put the, my, uh, my, my card with my cell phone number. And... Hmm. Okay. She wipes her hands with plain paper towels and grows. Right. And that's a warning for um, the water condition of the turtles. No baths for the for the sulcatas and the other ground, uh, tortoises. And then um, yep. also no shade. Paper towels. Okay. Holy crap. So they can't thermal regulate. But she just handled that turtle in that funk. Just told you that there is something wrong with that turtle. It needs iodine baths to kill the funk. Oh. By the way, let me wipe my hands off with paper towels. No, 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 no. And then, oh, she just grabbed she the kid. Get back in there. Yeah. Holy shit. All right, I'll get out of here because I know you got a lot of things yeah, to do. She's going in Look, she's got her hands all over that kid. She just wiped her hands down with freaking paper towels after. Oh, my God. All right. Take care. Good luck with that, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that's bad. That's bad. There, there's a whole lot of bad in that video. A whole lot of bad in there. Let me let me see one other thing real quick. I want to read you something that's really long, but man, it's it's been what two and a half hours. Actually, maybe we'll do that. 
we'll, we'll pick those up. I, I don't want to keep you much longer. Not for tonight. I know some people live stream like Larry has the, the, uh, the oomph for five hours. Uh, by the way, props to DUI guy. You know, appreciate it. Appreciate Megan. But I mean, you know, they're, they're on the five. Hour. I try to stick to two, two and a half, maybe, <laughs> you know, really I try to do one and a half hours to two, but, uh, but anyway, so I think we'll hit that, that, uh, documentation. There's a, again, there's a 300 page filing. Now that sounds crazy, right? When you go through, but the 338 page filing, my bad, <laughs> 338 pages. It has a lot of, um, attachments like, like pictures, screenshots, items like that. So, but it also has, there's a, there's a part of it that I do want to go over because there's some of the, it, the stuff that Lynette puts in, you know, when she, when she adds in four pages of single spaced complaints, it's, 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 it's just amazing. And she uses, uh, she uses, like she says things like, I mean, here, I want to read you one paragraph. Okay. Just to, just to give you an idea. I mean, just the crazy stuff I told, uh, so-and-so, a lady from our old town sent John a letter and I got it, not him. This is how it reads. And I read it as we are allowed to open each other's mail. And it was a letter begging him for pain pills if he's still on them. She even sent him money, which I was very quick to send back, returned to send her and wrote on it. She better never try that again as she was putting my child at risk and my home and life. These people uh, changed the truth too. And in parentheses, I said John was selling his pills for money to pay bills. I also shared with her that I was a survivor of SA. I'm going to say, you know what I'm talking about there. Uh, I don't allow John to have no shirt on while playing with my daughter. And I don't allow him to kiss her on the mouth or I get mad if his shorts ride up and he does not wear underwear. You say, like, what? What? I mean, these are the kind of this is legal documentation I'm reading you here. Okay, so I want to read you some of this stuff all in context, like pages of it. But for me to read that, it, it's going to take time. So I, I think we'll pick that up. I'm going to have a live stream for that kind of stuff, but I also want to have a live. And, and again, the the reason for all of this, there, it's really there, there's a few reasons. It's not. It's not to continually beat this certain job, but you have to in a way. You have to show how insane this stuff is. Because a lot of people, when they look at it, they're going to think neighbor versus neighbor. You know, that's the way that a lot of that's been portrayed. And it, it's, it's insanity. And even if it was a situation like that, the reaction from a judge, what's allowed to happen here, is crazy, especially considering when you look at um, when you look at Jeremy's filings. They're concise. I mean, again, you listen to him speak about this. He can lay out this is the issue A B C D. He can just go through it. Meanwhile, he gets to, he he can't do anything about this. Meanwhile, this person that just has some rambling freaking meth math up in here they managed to make his life a living hell that's a problem again there is a gofundme link there i'm going to link it also in the description yeah let me say too if you haven't subscribed here yeah I think there's a lot like again the 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 good thing with the gap i hate it because again Jeremy spends more money. He's denied his rights in this. The only positive to it is that it allows people to catch up. Everyone. Everyone. And yeah, a lot of us, you know, like I may look at something that um, 
the DUI guys already looked at, or I may look at it from Megan Fox has already looked at or another place. And that's fine. I'm, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm looking at it in real time, showing myself it. I read every document there. I go through, I obsessively cover stuff because that's how my brain processes it. It is a puzzle to me and I need to see the pieces and I need to make them fit. So, you know, I appreciate all of you that are, in that you've been in it for the long haul anyway. And I, I think that over time, more and more people will see this and more and more people will see the, the, the issue with it. People like Megan will continue to write articles. People like yourself, myself, we will continue to put, to push them to the top to make sure that people see them. It matters. But anyway, Again, check that GoFundMe out, though. One second, I'm going to hit the... I managed Super Chats better this time, too. That was... Uh, I was proud of myself for that. <laughs> Rhea Rye, thanks for the fun. Did you hear Lynette ask the child if she wanted to go to the camper? Who goes, <laughs> what goes on in there? Sinister. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna end here. Like I said, I, I, I wanted to hit documents, but... Five hours, I'm not going to do. And there are other people, uh, you know, that are streaming. I'll probably go over the stuff that happened in the courts, too. I know that uh, DUI guy, Megan, can fit those as well. And again, we all look at it from a different angle. You know, Megan looks at it as a, as a journal. She looks at it as somebody that's also a court reporter. You have DUI guy, he's looking at it as a, as a lawyer. For myself, I look at a lot of this stuff. I look at it, you know, I've looked at a lot of cases. I'm not a lawyer by any means. I look at it from a mental health background and, and more, you know, and we just look at it. I also, I like the idea of it, we, the, the outward observers, sometimes we catch things like yourself. Look at all the things that have been caught by folks like yourself and not on a first viewing or a second view. I saw some of that video that we just walked through. I saw some of it last night. I saw a little bit of it today and I still caught more of it on a part, you know, I, some of it was new, but some of it I'd seen twice already. And I caught new stuff because I was looking for it. And I really, I thought about it all day long. I thought about it while, while I was out. I thought about, some of the things that were mentioned about the animals and stuff like that. But anyway, let's see. One more super chat. Poor Marie. Thanks for the vibe there. I feel like we need to revisit the 15 minutes. <laughs> I feel I feel like when we go through this, we do it as completionists. We, we go through everything. And yeah, you do your due diligence. One of the arguments that I hate. I've, I've had the the media complains about people like myself. Why? Because uh, I, I look through everything and I document it because I want you I want you to look at it too. Ultimately, my opinion on this it's not you need you're doing your own due diligence. You're seeing these items in real time, just like me, you know. And if you see it differently, awesome. Maybe you'll catch something I didn't. I mean, a lot of you know, you know, a lot of you know the lore too, and you're helping us through that. And uh, like I said, I appreciate it. It helped uh, when I watched, you know, it, just for example, like a basic thing. Where did the, the living place? Because it, it's actually more disturbing when I find out the home and the separation from the animals. I mean, it's, it's unreal. But anyway, I'm going to end here. I appreciate you folks. And I will, I will probably see you tomorrow. You know, I keep saying, well, I'm going to take tomorrow. Well, we'll probably see you tomorrow. <laughs> Later.